Hi everyone. Let's spend some time understanding the beauty and significance of this natural process. It's something that impacts half the world's population. Yet, it's often misunderstood or surrounded by unnecessary silence. By discussing it openly and respectfully, we can break the stigma and build a more supportive society for everyone. This process is an incredible reminder of how unique and powerful the human body is. It's a natural cycle that's essential for life and shows the amazing way the body works. Even though it's such a normal part of life, many people don't know much about it or treat it as something to be hidden. That's why conversations like these are so important. Think about the strength it takes to go through this every month. Women continue to work, study and take care of their families even when their bodies are going through changes. They balance everything with grace and resilience, which is truly inspiring. It's not easy, but it shows just how strong they are. Let's also think about how different cultures view this process. In some places, it's celebrated as a sign of growing up. For example, in parts of India, when a girl gets her first cycle, families may hold small celebrations to welcome her into womanhood. This can make her feel confident and supported. But in our, in other cases, there are tradition that treat this time as something bad or impure. For example, some people believe women shouldn't go near the kitchen, touch certain items or take part in daily activities. This can make women feel excluded and embarrassed even though there is nothing wrong with what they are going through. What if we change these traditions? Instead of making women feel left out, we could support and encourage them by creating a positive environment. We can help young girls feel proud and strong during this important part of their lives. One of the biggest challenges is the way the society views this process. In many places, there are still outdated beliefs and taboos. For example, some people think women shouldn't cook, pray or participate in certain activities during this time. These beliefs are not only untrue but also unfair. They create unnecessary barriers and make women feel as though they are doing something wrong, even though this is a natural and healthy process. It's time to change these perceptions. We need to look at this process for what it is a sign of health and strength. It doesn't make anyone less capable or less valuable. In fact, managing life while experiencing this process shows just how capable women are. One way we can support change is by encouraging open conversations. When we talk about this process openly, it helps everyone understand it better. It's especially important for young girls who are experiencing it for the first time. They might feel nervous, confused or even scared. By talking to them with kindness and positivity, we can help them see that there is nothing to be ashamed of. Parents, teachers and friends all play a big role in creating this understanding. When girls know they can ask questions and share their feelings without judgment, it makes a big difference. It helps them feel confident and supported. At the same time, it's not just women and girls who need to be part of this conversation. Men and boys should also learn about this process. When they understand what's happening, they can be more supportive and empathetic. For example, fathers can talk to their daughters about it, brothers can show kindness and friends can offer encouragement. It's also important to think about access to resources. Not everyone has what they need during this time. In some parts of the world, women and girls don't have access to basic products or even proper information. This can lead to them missing school, work or other important activities. By raising awareness and supporting initiatives that provide resources, we can help make a difference. In addition to practical support, emotional support is also a key. For many women, this process can come with physical and emotional challenges. They might feel tired, uncomfortable or even moody. Showing, understanding and offering small acts of kindness can go a long way. Sometimes just listening without judgment is the best support you can offer. We also need to talk about the importance of self-care. This natural process is a reminder to pay attention to the body's needs. Eating nutritious food, drinking plenty of water, getting enough rest and staying active when possible can all help. If someone is experiencing severe discomfort or pain, 
seeking medical advice is a smart and healthy step while we are focusing on in- individuals let's also think about the bigger picture as a society we need to create an environment where women feel comfortable and supported schools can provide proper education workplaces can offer flexible policies and families can foster open conversation when women feel supported they can focus on their goals and live with confidence this process is not a limitation it's a sign of strength women balance so many responsibilities even when their bodies are working overtime they don't let this process stop them from achieving their dreams or caring for the people around them that's something to celebrate and admire it is also important to challenge the myths and taboos that still exist there's nothing impure or wrong about this process it's a natural uh, process as breathing or sleeping by replacing myths with facts and fear with understanding we can create a world where no one feels embarrassed or judged education is one of the most powerful tools we have to bring about change When children learn about the process early they grow up with a healthy and respectful attitude schools can play a big role in teaching kids about this in a simple positive and a factual way imagine a world where no one hesitates to talk about this process a world where every woman has access to the resources she needs and feels respected and supported that's the kind of world we all should work towards This natural cycle is a reminder of health and strength and resilience. It's not something to hide or feel embarrassed about. It's something to respect and understand. Let's continue talking about it, supporting each other and educating ourselves and others. Thank you for listening.